Hello and welcome. My name is Bob Belf and I'm with the IBM Webster Technical Sales Team and today I'm going to show you a demonstration about around A-B testing with Webster Commerce. First I'd like to introduce you to Sally. She's a marketing manager and she, her team is responsible for the web presence and content for their company. Sally's team publishes all content to the site including advertising, cross-sells, upsells, pricing information, and essentially the entire catalog. Sally's team also runs campaigns to promote things like items or seasonal items. So Sally's marketing team wants to do some A-B testing. What we want to do is we want to set up an A-B test plan for an advertisement with three different backgrounds. We'll run this test for a period of one month to see what ad color was clicked on most and which ads actually lead to sales. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see here, I've created three advertisements with different backgrounds. We have like a blue-green background, a yellow background, and a red background. Let's see which one the customers like the best. The first thing we're going to do in the IBM Management Center is we're going to go ahead and upload those images. So we go to the Assets tab, and I've already done this just for the convenience of this video. I've uploaded all three images, and they are now attachments for my Madison eSite. Then you would go over to Marketing, and you would create content associations to those assets. So each one of these is an individual piece of content that can now be placed in a marketing spot. So if I just go ahead and open up one, you can see the content type is an asset. It's going to point to that image. And we're just simply going to click, when the, when the customer clicks on it, it's just going to display the, the apparel catalog, um, category. All right, back in Management Center, what we're going to do now is we're going to use this handy little feature inside of Management Center to go ahead and preview the store so we can figure out which e-spot we want to override with our new A-B test. Okay. And when you preview it using Management Center you get this nice little top toolbar and you can show the marketing spots. What this does is it highlights the areas of the screen that the marketing spot takes up and it also gives you the ad, the marketing spot name. We're going to go ahead and focus on homepage row 3 ads. So we're going to replace one of these with our, our new uh, advertisement. So let's go ahead and create a new blank web activity. We'll call it A, B, test for apparel. We're going to give it a pretty high priority and we're going to run this test for exactly one month. And there you go. Then for the e-marketing spot we're just going to go ahead and paste that name, homepage row 3 ads, and click find an ad. Let's go ahead and save for now. So let's go ahead and add one of the recommended contents. And what we want is the new lamp. And we'll click find and add. And then we also want A, B testing. And we'll do the green first. Then we're going to add an experiment path in here. And this experiment, we'll call it A-B test. It'll be a random path. The frequency of element changes for each customer, no change. Um, we'll do based on request. That way every time they could potentially see different, uh, different tests. Now we don't have to fill in these start and end dates, but we'll go ahead and give them the same start and end as, as the whole e-spot or web, web activity. 
And then what we'll do is we'll come in here and define the paths. So the first path is going to be green. And then we'll have a red path and then a yellow path. And we'll just assign roughly the same number of percentages. So that means 33, 33, and 34% of the time these things will be shown. Now what it did was it automatically copied each one of these for us. But what we want to do is go in and replace the different colors. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that one. A, B, star, and this is the red. So we'll drag the red down there. And for the last one, we want to do yellow. So we'll just drag the yellow one over there. So let's go ahead and close that and look at our whole flow. So what this is going to do is inside of Homepage Row 3 Add, we're going to have an experiment with a random path and we're going to randomly show a red background, a green background, and a yellow background along with the new lamp collection advertisement. So let's go ahead and save this, enable it, and check out the site. So using the same preview button, we just go ahead and launch the site. And there it is, our 20% off apparel ad. And when you click it, you go straight to the apparel category. So let's go ahead and run some tests and see, see how this uh, ends up. All right, so I launched the site with a few different browsers and let's go ahead and check out the results. So I open up the ad and I click on the experiment and we'll look at the properties of the experiment and on the statistics tab you'll see the different kinds of statistics that were, were generated. And I just randomly launched the site and clicked on a few of them here and there. But these, are, these statistics are all built right into Web3 Commerce and you can actually come in and deactivate this and you can either declare a winner here or you can declare a winner here. And you can save it and then you can close it and reopen and you can actually now create a new new activity from the winner. So when I select that it took the winner in the marketing spot and created a brand new activity and then I can go ahead and save and close it and it will use the, the winning um, or most popular advertisement in the new activity.